Here we are, the night before the most important election of our lives. There's no place else I'd rather be than here with you, standing proud to support the President of the United States, who is fighting for the people, who is fighting for peace, and who has in his heart putting America first. You know, the, the most important quality that I look for in any elected leader, but especially the President of the United States, is someone who wakes up every single day asking himself, what can I do for the American people? I just spent the first half of the day before I came here in Western North Carolina, and we went through different areas in Asheville and the surrounding communities where people are still suffering and struggling in the wake of Hurricane Helene. And I was moved almost to tears many times as people shared with me their stories of loss, the funerals that they are going to for their loved ones who were killed in that disaster. There is a fire, firefighter that gave me this bracelet with tears in his eyes, in memory of his battalion chief, Tony Garrison, whose end of watch was on September 27, 2024, because he went out to save someone's life and brought them back. He heard that there was someone else who needed help, went out, rescued them, and brought them back. They said, my parents are still out there. Please go and help them. He went out to find them and never came back. On the bottom of this black bracelet, it says, greater love has no one than this, that a person will lay down his life for his friends. We have a president in Donald Trump who's willing to lay down his life for us. It meant the world to the people in Western North Carolina that he showed up there for them. It meant the world to people in different parts of the country like East Palestine, Ohio, when he showed up for them. That's the difference between President Trump and Kamala Harris. Anyone who has spent a moment with President Trump understands how much he cares about the people, how much he cares about us. I can tell you as a soldier, someone who's been deployed multiple times to different war zones, someone who proudly wears the uniform, he cares about our men and women in uniform. He is committed to ending wars, not starting them. He is committed to truly bringing about peace and having the courage and the strength to stand up against the warmongers in Washington. Our choice in this election and the victory we need to deliver for President Trump tomorrow is the choice between Kamala Harris and four more years of tyranny, poverty, and war, war, and more war or in President Trump, someone who will stand up and defend our freedom and put us back on that path towards peace and prosperity. Let's deliver that victory for Donald Trump tomorrow. Send him back to the White House where we can all join him to make America great again. Thank you all so much for your love of our country. Thank you for defending freedom. Let's make it happen.